another day, another Core P3 construction. As you can see, my graphics card is missing. And as I mentioned in my previous video, we're gonna have a new one. So this is my 970 and say hello to the 980 Ti. This is gonna be my final upgrade for a couple years. Um, this was the one I always wanted, but I wanted to do it in steps, like not buy the 980 right away because the price would come down. It was like 450 euro when I started doing like graphics cards when I bought the 960. So I upgraded the 960 to a 970, which is this one. This one has a crazy overclock. And as you can see, it has some modifications to it it's wrapped in carbon painted in green the fan is painted in green the fan is actually replaced because um the old one was broken and this one has a different pin head out than a 980 so i can't really just put it over so far i'm aware the fans are the same but they have a different pin and what it looks is that this frame is actually the same so i might be able to switch that over without having to redo this completely and I would have a separate frame for like selling the 970, for example, or like making it another color for a friend or something. But yeah, today I'm gonna, like I'm gonna set up the 980. I've already tested it and stuff. It's legit fast. 980, the 970 was plenty fast for me already, but now I have a 980. If I wanna water cool it, because this one is far louder, because the thermals, it goes to 70 on full load with overclock and it blasts at 2k rpm while this one did like 1.2 so uh yeah that's a bit louder which is unfortunate and the reason was for the upgrade i don't want to water cool a 970 that's like a shame and waste because it already ran cool and this one gives me a little bit more of a reason to water cool it also the water blocks are far more accessible for a 980 ti but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna make it like paint it like this one or swap it over and use that for a while. And if I bought it to water cool it, I can that do that. But yeah, that's the 980. So um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this video. If I'm gonna do this video where I also like swap the color or just show the performance and stuff. Like, I mean, a lot of people already know how the 980 performs. So I doubt that I'll do that. So I'm probably just gonna make a setup video of me changing the color and how it looks in my core. All right, so something that I've never shown is like how I take my video card apart. So there are multiple types of screws, but this is just a flat hat, like a small one. And what I usually do is I start by taking out the fans, which have the screws up here. They're very accessible. You have just have to go through the fin blades. And the magnetic screwdriver helps heaps for that. So I take these two out. And there's two here. Damn, I put them in tight this time. I didn't I don't remember doing that. And that's those screws loose. And then what I do is like these fins, they go like that. And I just use that to lift it up by sliding it through the fin blades like that. And then I do the same thing here and try always to not peel off the paint because I painted them. I missed that one. And then I can just put this aside and the um, the LED lights is always connected here. So there's two ways of doing that. No, actually, I don't think there is another way yet. Yeah, wait, no, there isn't. So you have to actually um, screw it on the backside and lift it a little up so you can get the connector loose. Or usually when I just want to clean it, I just take the fans off and like clean it from here and just use this like that. But if I want to modify it, I actually just take apart the whole GPU and I also apply new thermal paste on it. So the fans just have like screws right here where you can get also through the fins. So that's very accessible too. But at the moment, I'm just trying to get this one off on both cards so I can check if I can just interchange them with each other. So I do have to remove these screws to lift up the heat spreader a bit. So these are like with uh, springs. So you have to take care of those. And um, the thermal interface will become loose after this. So you need to put on new thermal paste after you remove this, which I don't know. I have some MX4 left, but not a lot. So I, I might like 
reuse the thermal paste of this one if I can, but don't use the card till I get new thermal paste because this is my secondary 970 now. I would not sell it before I fix that. So now these four are loose and that should be plenty. Make sure not to scratch that because I need that. So now I can lift this off. And actually that looks bad. That looks like it has spread. That's actually crazy that it, it looks like, that's odd, that looks bad. But the luck, the good thing is that the thermals were really good. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put this aside and start tearing down the 980. So this is all, all that is to a graphics card. This is just cooling, but I'm gonna put this aside and this one I'll keep here and then we start on the 980. Here we have the next patient. So I'm gonna take apart this one too. Let me check if I can pull out the LEDs without, no, I actually have to lift off this thermal spreader too. So I might actually do that first. So I'm gonna put this around and let me check on the camera if that's in here. So I'm gonna remove these floor screws, which already has been done. So I expect that the thermal paste has already been changed on this one. If the thermal paste would be done bad, that would be nice because that would mean I could like use my MX4 and probably increase the, now decrease the thermals because this one runs pretty hot. Like the fan spin up like to 2K RPM, like I said before. So if I can get some performance out of that, that would be nice. And this one has a back plate, back plate, which makes me feel a lot better because mine didn't. And on an open case, that's like much better to have. Okay. Yeah, it actually looks like this thermal paste was better applied than mine, but it still looks bad. So I'm going to replace that with MX4 and it might be better. So that's that. Damn, this is a huge car. And a huge uh, cooling element. I'm gonna clean this and see if I can replace the green with the red. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. It's like common practice in this house. Something new arrives and within the first hour it's getting taken apart. That's pretty normal here. It's not normal for the usual people, but uh, it's kind of funny to me. Yeah, but um, I don't know which thermal paste he had on it. So it might be that I still get some improved performance out of using the MX4. And I can always consider water cooling. So same thing here, you spin the blades and try to get them through it. And now on the other side. So that's very easy. And that's it. And if I take look yeah, these are identical. Yeah, so I can use the 971 on the 980 and keep my, like this is fully painted and uh, carbonized and this one is just plastic. So I can keep this as a backup or put it on the 970, which I'm probably gonna do. So let's put this away. Fans are the same. The block looks really clean. Like he probably cleaned that up before he sent it away. No GPU can be this clean. I have to degrease it a little more. I can still see some grease on that. I don't have isotopic alcohol and I should. That's something I will get, but this degreasing never has like let me down, so. Yeah, these are just some marks. I don't think they would go away. All right. This one I'm always really scary, scared about. So um, I put the greaser on my microfiber and try to really stay on the, di on the diode, I think it's called. That looks good. All right. Am I forgetting something? Okay, I will put on this. I need to paint this one actually in green. 
but I don't really need to have the card apart for that, but it would be easier. So I might paint it. I, uh, I'll think I'll just take this off and start painting it. So be right back. So taking off the fence is just guiding the cable through and removing the three screws that are in between. You have to go again between the fin blades. Don't like mess up what screws there are. The last one for this one. Now I can lift this one off. Some of these have a little bit more space in between them, so you can better use that, those ones. And the last time when I did the 970, I mixed these two up and I painted the wrong one. So I need to make sure that it's this time, it's the one closest to the cable. Shouldn't be hard to remember. It's also the one with the MSI logo on it instead of the dragon. So I'm gonna take these fans, heat them up and remove the stickers on them. And later they will get my green dragon logos, which you can buy on eBay, link in the description like always. There's always like an item list where I purchase my stuff and what I paid for it and the shipping and everything. And if I'm covered it in a video, etc. So you can always check that out. But yeah, I'm gonna start painting these and then we'll start assembling the card again. All right, so I actually decided against the idea of painting my fan again because I actually had a set of spares. And since these are the same as the 980 and the 970, I just cut them off and like soldered them and this is basically it. So this is my 970, which used to be green. You can still see like the carbon on the side, but it's back to red stock now with the stickers on it. And this is now the 980. The only difference you can see it by is because it's, this one is like below the cooler and this one is sticking out, which is the 980. But you can see I have the old cooler and these are both the fans from the 980. These are both the fans from the 970, but this one is a replacement fan because my original 970 fan was painted like this. And this one is a replacement. And this one is the original 970. This is the cover from the 980 and the stickers from the 980. And now we have the lid from the 970 on the 980. An original 980, no wait, this is a 970 fan that was already painted, soldered towards, you can see it's like the cables there. And this one is the 980 fan that's still on there. And like, there's absolutely no way you can see it. Like you can see I could use heat shrink there. That's where I soldered it. There's the double eight pin from the top. It's absolutely well made done. And from the bottom, you can't see anything. Cart looks phenomenal. I also wrapped the side on here. The green is nice. The carbon wrap still intact. So I'm gonna show it again from the top. That's the 980. You can see it by the free fins. And that's basically it. This was a smarter way. I just used the soldering iron and I, this was much quicker and it doesn't make any performance difference because the 980 and the 970 use the same fans. So yeah, basically that's it. So if you want to see how I painted them, you can refer to my previous video that I made like six months ago. It's called how to paint your GPU or something like that. And there's another video where I carbon wrap it that's named like wrapping my 970 or something. That's maybe two or three months ago. If you look at the specs, you can see that the fan speed is much higher because the temperature is actually over 70 degrees. Now I am running my own custom profile that I will adapt probably, but 70 degrees is where I would like to have it. I can maybe let it run up to 75 and try to get some more like decreased fan speed but like that's pretty loud and it has some coil wine but it actually has less coil wine than the 970 that I had but you can see there's a hefty overclock once again it's not as high as my old one but actually the core clock is actually higher than my old one but the frame rate you can see it's really good it's running um have a benchmark like on these overclocks so it has 109, 150 and 670, uh, 675 
155 makes a crash. Um, I don't really need higher memory clock. That's really good. And uh, yeah. And when I reset it, sometimes when you like plug in new stuff, the BIOS resets and it actually shorted like the LEDs that I hooked up. Like I hooked these LEDs up to a fan header and put the fan header to six volt, but when the BIOS resetted, it put it to 12 volts and these two LEDs died. So I have to replace those. It happened before it stinks because I have to take the core from the wall. But what do you do? To have it look nice, you must work for it. So I'm still waiting for this cable to like make go around like with the HDMI cable, but the card is running amazing. It's a bit loud. I don't really care. It looks dope. And look at these frame rates. VRAM already adapted, so it shows six gigabytes. And the name and stuff, and like the top peak stuff, it's all adapted. So that's the 980. It sticks a bit out. Like it looks odd. And I need to get like an. Uh, 8 pin adapter because it's now 6 and 8 but it has to be 8 and 8 I might be able to get a high overclock after that and uh, yeah the benchmark is running it has really high frame rates and uh, I'll show the score in a sec so here's the score from heaven benchmark and I already know the score from Ye valley it is 6100 and this one scores 3500 almost and uh, yeah it's really loud now and I ran Tomb Raider, hang on. And these were the scores that I was getting on Tomb Raider. And that was before the overclock. So they should be higher now, like a lot higher actually. But that's the performance. Yeah, it, it's nothing special. You know that the 980 performs great. It looks great too. That was the upgrade. Thanks for watching. Bye.